Today we will see Program 7 of Unit 1. As per program, take single image having three rectangle shapes horizontally having text Home, Product, and Services written in the boxes. For this we need make an image in Paint. So open Paint, now resize the page. Add three text boxes and write Home, Product and Services inside that text boxes respectively. Then save the image. Now open Visual Studio. Create new web application as we've done in previous programs. Now as per program, when user clicks on the first rectangle home, that ASPX page should be opened. Similarly, when user clicks on the product rectangle, the product.aspx and service rectangle, then service.aspx should be opened. Use image map control. Go to Visual Studio. Right click on root, then select add new folder. Name it as images. Right click on that folder, select add existing item. Select image files from drop down menu. Then browse the location where you saved that image. Create new web form. You can change the name of the site as I am changing here as you 1p7 then click on add. Go the design section. Add image map control from toolbox. You can resize this control, and if you do not resize it, then it will convert to the size of specified image. Go to the properties of image map control, then inside image URL, give path of that image. Then click on OK. Now, first of all, we need to make three web forms as home, product, and services. After making three web forms, again go to the u1p7.aspx and from the properties of image map control. Use hotspots, click on collection. Then inside this box add hotspot shapes. As I am selecting rectangle hotspots here. Then from appearance you can set hotspots value as top, bottom, left and right. So for that again go to paint where we made that image. Here below you can see pixels of position of cursor. You can not down this pixels as here first is for left and second is for bottom. Next at the end of the word you can again not down this pixels as first for right and second for bottom. Next inside behavior set hotspot mode as navigation and set navigation URL as path of home.aspx. You can also set target property to set navigation way of web page, but here I am not going to change it. Do same thing for product and service respectively. Now you can debug the program and check output. 
You can as I am moving cursor on particular word. Shape of cursor changed, and when I am clicking on particular word specified navigation page is open. 